Okay, on the 6.6 .6 part one assignment, number 13 is seven raised to the five X equals 12. First thing you need to do is get the thing that is that has the exponent by itself. So seven to the five X, that, that's by itself. We can't subtract anything from that. We can't divide anything from that. So we're good for the next step. The problem is that we're stuck. When you have your X up in the exponent, you are stuck. And the way to get unstuck is to do the log ride, to change forms. So this is currently in exponential form. We want to change it to logarithmic form. So we want this to start with log something, something, something. To figure out what order to write the things in the logarithmic version, you do the log ride. Woo! So you start with the 7, so that's the base. And then the next number that our little log ride touches is 12. And then we go around that equal sign. The next thing is 5x. Okay, now we need to see what we can do with this. So we can do log base 7 of 12 in our calculator. And if you have the TI-83 or even a scientific calculator, you evaluate this thing by doing change of base. So we have to do log of the top number, log of the big number, the, the number that's inside the log, divided by log of the base. This base number is always going to be the log on the bottom. So we do that in our calculator. Log button 12, close your parentheses, divided by log button 7, close your parentheses. We get a decimal. It is 1.27. Um, 7 equals 5x. And now to finish solving this, we just get that x by itself. So divide both sides by 5. That will give you your decimal. That is what x equals. My daughter's freaking out about something. Okay, number 15 is very similar. Oh, shoot. Let me pull that back up on my screen so I know what it is. Except number 15 has the e in it. So we have 3e to the 4x plus 9 equals 15. Our first step is to get the thing that's raised to the exponent by itself. So we need to subtract 9 on both sides. Fifteen minus 9. I shouldn't have to do that on my calculator, but just to be sure. 15, my pen's not working right now. Okay, we still don't have this term that has the exponent by itself. It's not 3e to the 4x, it's 3 times e to the 4x. So get rid of that 3 by dividing both sides by 3. So now we have e to the 4x equals 2. We're now stuck. x is in the exponent. We are stuck. This is exponential form. We want to change it to logarithmic form. So we want to start with log, and then we need to know what order to put things. So, woo! Log base e of 2 equals 4x. Okay. Um, this one's a little bit weird because you have to remember that log base e is exactly the same as ln. Anytime you see log base e, you can just replace that with ln. So we have ln of 2 equals 4x. That actually makes this problem easier because we don't have to do any change of base. We just type in ln 2. We get that decimal. So we have 0.693. We need to finish this problem by dividing both sides by 4. And whatever decimal you get, that's what x is going to equal.